Well, hello everyone. My name is Alex Leo. Uh, as many of you guys know me from church, from the mariachi, from East Chicago, a hometown I actually lived there for 11 years. Uh, now I currently live in Mexico for the moment. Uh, I mean, I know some of you guys I met here and down in here in Guadalajara. Um, well, um, the reason for this video, first of all, it's um, in the memorial of Tom Bridegroom for his birthday today. It's his birthday, rest in peace, from the movie Bridegroom, uh, which inspired me and touched me deeply and gave me the strength to stand up for myself, to stand up for what I believe. It's made me a stronger person, and thanks to Shane Brit Brittany Crone, he's helped me a lot. Um, his documentary was pretty touching. It was heartbreaking. It was levitating. It was it was it was a great great experience. I lived throughout that do documentary. I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible. It is. It's. I wanna just say it out there. I mean. I don't really do it often, but I want to support the cause. I want to support people that have been through the same thing, that actually had the struggle. Uh, Shane Brittany Crone experienced when he was a child, uh, the same one I actually did too. Um, throughout my years, I suffered from physical abuse, emotional abuse, um, and I was I was just mentally abused. I was mentally damaged. Uh, I was actually verbally abused as well. I mean, all kinds of stuff people go through. It's just like many of you guys don't really know the story behind my life. Many of you guys judge and point out without knowing the real reason why I kept myself shut throughout all these years. Uh, I don't plan on writing a whole story about it. But I, what I do know, it's life gets easier. It gets easier. It's hard. It's tough when people bring you down. When people step on you and spit you over. When people just put you down. People insult you and humiliate you for who you are. Just because of their ignorance and based on their religious beliefs. It doesn't make us a bad person. A person could be bad if they wanted to whether they're gay, straight, bi, transsexual, transgender, whatever it is, it all depends on oneself of who you want to be and what you want to be in life. People often criticize and judge saying how miserable you're going to be, how of a horrible person it makes you for being different than anybody else, for, for being yourself. It's hard when you stand out in front of everybody because everybody notices you and points out on you and calls you out it's hard and it's difficult and I know what it feels like to be spit on to be humiliated to be called down on faggot fag homo it's probably shocking for many of you guys because I probably knew many of you guys for a long time. It's it's really hard and you guys are probably be confused. But that's how life is and I've come to terms of accepting myself for, for who I am and what I am and I, it doesn't make me a bad person. I used to just put myself down all the time. I was really, really self-conscious and insecure person, just trying to find ways to fit in the crowd. It's hard, you know, when people disrespect you, when people just push you away. It's it's terrifying and it's horrifying where you come to the point of how your family will think about you and will misjudge you, like some of my family members did and some of them still do, but I really don't care. And thanks to Shane and its and its movie, it's helped me out a lot, you know, it's just, I stood up for myself. I'm a strong person, I'm a warrior, and despite of what I've been to, of the nightmare I've been portraying all these years, 22 years of my life, I want to be happy. You know, I don't want to just hide in the darkness, I don't want to keep living a nightmare. My life was a nightmare, it was just horrifying. I had to run away from home 
to another country because it was just terrifying up to the point that if your family found out, you'll probably get kicked out, misjudged, and be treated like shit. Like a total dirt just because people have no manners and their prejudice is just off the hook. Especially living in a small town like East Chicago, everybody knows you. Now, I really don't care. You know, it's just, it's off limits, you know. I really don't care about people. It's just like, probably some of you guys already knew. It's just like, you know, I'm not scared. I'm a strong person, and I've come to terms of telling my mom and my brothers and some of my family members, because it's just, I couldn't lie to myself anymore, you know, I couldn't hide it, I couldn't keep running back to my past, you know, being haunted every single day, remembering how people used to hit me, punch me, slam me on the, lo on the locker, I used to take my lunch money, people used to spit on me, people used to call me out of my name. People think it's just on movies, people think it happens just on movies, people think it's, oh, it it's not real life thing. It's a real life thing and it's real and it's happening and people go through it. Some people can't manage it. People find suicide as an option. And to my point, I thought about suicidal. It's horrible. Coming to those terms of thinking of killing yourself because you think you're worth a piece of shit. How people don't appreciate what you do. How people just look at you superficially. They don't look what's deep inside of you. But that all that's over. All my thoughts, all my nightmares. Everything, every single thought I repressed. All these years is gone. Because I was able to face it. And people say it does not get better. People say it gets worse. It does get worse up to the point. Where you just cry yourself to sleep every night. Where you just don't know. You find yourself lost in a trapped no end, dead end. It's it's complicated. It's hard to explain. And maybe I could probably be, ball, be bawling my eyes out right now. But I don't do it because I'm happy with what my life has taken its course. And the thing is that life does get better. It gets way better than it used to be you know because you're you just set yourself free from all those chains that held you back all these years it's your turn to be happy it's your time to just do what you always wanted to do not what other people wanted you to do just because they thought it was right for you to do it it's it's relieving and only god knows what's inside my heart and just and because despite the fact you know for being different doesn't mean I don't believe in God or I try to follow his rules. Maybe things are different. You know, I'm not stuck in church like I used to be 24-7. And I only did it because I just prayed to God to change me for the way it was. I didn't want it to be the way it was. But I come to terms of accepting myself because it wasn't going to change. People think medicine, psychologists, psychiatrists, God can change you. None of that could change you. And I am... A witness of it because I've been through all of that people don't know I've been through a lot of that and all it does it kills you deep inside because you're just trying to suppress a feeling you are not letting out I'm happy for who I am and I think Shane Britney Chrome and his movie for touching all these people's hearts for making us see the real light for Making us accept ourselves for who we are. Because we're humans. We're human beings. We feel. We have feelings. And we should all be treated equally. Always. No matter what. I, I love those who supported me along the way. Who have accepted me for who I am and what I am. Not what I am. Because I'm not a monster. I'm a human being. A successful human being. That keeps reaching up for more on the scale to success. And it does not make me any different from you. Thank you Shane Brittany Chrome. And I hope you're able to see my video. And I want to thank you. And hope today, someday I, I'm able to meet you. Because you're a really great person. And you inspired a lot of us along the way.